Damn, Fredo, back at it again with the vlogs. As I was scrolling through the comments, I decided, hey, what better way to start today's vlog than with a how-to? What better how-to than the crank flip? A trick that a lot of you guys might know that I'm very fond of. Let's get it going. Alright, so the crank flip, aka kick flip, it's not a very difficult trick to do, but it's really fun. First thing I want to recommend is for you to wear pants. You can't stress that enough that the first few times you might fail, and if you get a pedal to the shin, it's gonna hurt. Probably gonna leave a mark, and there may even be blood. So not only are you gonna to wanna to wear pants, as you can see that I am doing, but you're also gonna to wanna to wear grippy shoes. Something with a good waffle or Nikes right here have some good grip. The reason that you want good grip on your pedals is not just for the flick part, but also for the catching part. In case you catch only the edge of your pedal, if your pedals and your shoes are very grippy, then it'll help you not get a shinner. The next thing you wanna check is to see if your chain is loose enough. I give it a little soft hand spin. If it comes back around one full time, that's pretty easy. If it comes around two or three times, then be careful when you flick it because it's gonna come around real quickly and you might miss right to the shin. All right, so once you've established that your cranks are loose enough, that you have some grip on your shoes, just in case you miss, you can catch the edge of the pedal. Then the next thing is you wanna do is try them stationary. All right, so once you've gotten the scoop and flick technique down in your head, the next thing you wanna do is try it on your bike. I either recommend trying it on grass or at least like a stationary position, something where you're not gonna fall over. Kind of. If you're going too quick, you're already thinking about the speed, you're thinking about the pedals, you're thinking about that girl across the street that's really hot. Um, you're thinking about a lot of other things. So I would say somewhere stationary, somewhere you can focus, and you're gonna be there probably for 20, 30 minutes giving this a go. All right, so as you can see here, I am left foot forward, right foot back. So the first thing you wanna do is learn how to kick. So kicking means that you're gonna push this right pedal down and your foot's gonna kinda wanna go away. So that toward that sort of motion. So pretend you're trying to kickstart a motorcycle. You're gonna wanna just push down pretty hard and away. You don't want your foot to be in the way like once the cranks are spinning because then again, that's gonna lead to some nasty shinners. Your front foot, you're gonna wanna do a scoop. So the scoop is basically you pointing your toe down and kind of curling your foot over the pedal and trying to bring it back. I almost got cramped there. Point down, kind of curl your foot over the pedal and then scoop up and back in this motion. So once you've gotten pretty comfortable at doing it stationary, then you're gonna wanna start doing it with a little bit of speed. Once you do them pretty consistently with a little bit of speed, then you're ready for the bunny hop. So the only difference with this is that when you bunny hop, there's gonna be a slight delay of when you actually hop, position yourself, and then kick them. If you look closely at this take, I was about to bunny hop and do the crank flip. You'll notice that my front foot is already starting to pull back as my right foot is starting to leave the pedal and I canceled it all off by just pulling my foot away. The first thing you wanna do is exaggerate a bunny hop. What I mean by that is you're gonna want to pull up on the front end a little more dramatic than you do normally. And the reason for that is because you're gonna wanna hop with the front end up on your lap a little more so that it gives you more space to perform the proper scoop. Then while you're starting to lift and level off, that's when you're gonna start flicking the back foot and then releasing everything. So it's one fluid motion of a scoop, a flick, all of this while you're lifting the front end and then the back end. Well, once you got in the hang of doing them stationary and bunny hop, then you're ready to take it to the next level. You can learn them onto stuff, off of stuff, onto grinds, off of grinds, onto grind, and then off of grind, or over the rail. The crank flip is limitless. Oh, that was a lot of crank clips. All right, guys, I'm going to go get some water and edit this vlog. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed, if there's anything more you want to know about the crank flip. I don't know who really invented it, but I think maybe Lucky Engelbert, maybe? I'm not sure. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. Thanks, guys. Porsche bike. Not bad.
Damn.